Good morning, good morning, good morning. Coffee's pretty good this morning, but uh, the situation I want to talk about is not good. It's, I've, I'm kind of overwhelmed that this statement was actually made. The war on terror continues to roar and in between the Pakistan-Afghanistan border, of course, the Taliban like to hang out and find refuge in Pakistan. I mean, that's probably where Osama bin Laden has been for the last seven years. And um, Pakistan, though, is supposed to be an ally, right? An ally, okay. So there's a supply route coming through Pakistan and Afghanistan to our troops. Vital route for supplies. Yesterday, there was a skirmish, if you want to call it that, but uh, United States uh, Apache helicopters got into a crossfire battle with Taliban rogue militants, uh, radical Islamic, who refused to surrender at this point. And in this crossfire, in this battle, um, three Pakistani soldiers got killed. Friendly fire, accidental, shouldn't have happened, but they did, they died. Pakistan decided to shut down the supply route. They decided to, to limit America and the NATO forces the ability to get supplies, vital supplies, to the soldiers that are located throughout Afghanistan. And, I mean, first of all, how do you do that? I mean, you're, if, the, <laughs> if you're an ally, an ally means you're supporting, you're working with, and if anything, you should be helping uh, send soldiers yourself. But the last thing you do is cut off the supply route to your to your allies to your friends matter of fact here's a quote uh, this is Ram Rahman Malik he is the interior minister of Pakistan Rahman, Rahman Malik and he said these words we will have to see whether we are allies or enemies are you serious you have to see you have to go see now who are you gonna go talk to mommy I mean who are you gonna go who are you gonna go see I have to go see the Muslim uh, cleric. I must see my uh, cleric. You know, you know what you need to do? You need to come out of the closet and admit that you people are enemies, or at least it's looking very, 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 very much like it. Why do I say that? Well, the guy we're hunting down since 9-11 is hiding out in your, in your mountain range, or maybe he's living among your people in your cities. I don't know. Uh, meanwhile, um, there's this con constant safe haven for the Taliban to live across the border in Pakistan. If you were our ally, you would send your troops into the same region. We would squeeze the Taliban and crush the head of the serpent. But instead, I don't know, are you feeding them? So now maybe you're doing this. Maybe you're feeding our enemy while cutting off our supply route to our soldiers. I mean, I hope that General Petraeus or, or whoever... Uh, some of the top brass in the military wake up. I'm sure they're awake. I hope they can get the Obama administration, somebody to understand this is not what you call an ally. This is not your ally. If this is your ally, I'd hate to see who our friends are. And I'm serious. This Muslim radical jihadist war that has started on 9-11 by the radical Muslims attacking the World Trade Center in America, blowing up the embassies in Africa, threatening to put pipe bombs in subways in France, blowing up school children in Russia, doing everything and anything they can do. To, uh, what about India? Like two years ago, you know, with the hotels over in Mumbai. I mean, this thing continues. And then you got the Somali militants who go and kill 74 Ugandans. This thing doesn't... Anything that gets in our way, I think, should be recognized as an enemy to the United States of America and the NATO forces and the free democracy of the world, Christianity and Jews and even Muslims who want to live peaceably in this world. It's this radical ideology and these corrupt men in the Pakistani government. If this do, if today, if the interior minister is not fired by the president of Pakistan today, I'm Paul Begley. I, I just, I'm lost for words.